For Complex News, I'm Pierce Simpson here in Los Angeles, California on Melrose, just a day after the unjust murder of Jalen Bradford, the Shoe Palace employee who was murdered during a sneaker raffle dispute. We came to Melrose to get a sense of the community grieving at large, and we also spoke to a store owner who gave us insight on how Melrose got this dangerous and what type of steps could be taking place so this type of unfortunate situation never happens again. You mentioned before the camera started rolling, you've entered a couple of raffles here at Shoe Palace. What has that experience been like for you? Shoot. It was crazy. This was my first raffle, and everybody was out here. And you see, everybody was arguing, trying to get the tickets. Well, he was here, yes. you were here. I was here. Yeah, I was here a couple of days ago. I came here earlier that day. Yesterday, I even got the tickets. There were the Bad Bunny shoes and the Camo Dunks. I still think they have the sign up. And I came earlier that day. Everyone was just getting in. I was here early for the Foot Locker, which just closed down because someone threw uh, whatever, like firecrackers. They closed down and they went out through the back and they shut down the store because. That's where they filmed the video that everything happened. This was, they was all sitting out here. Even the dude that worked here, he was out here too. Yeah. You feel me? So, shit was crazy, man. Everybody was out here bundled up, people pushing each other and shit. It's just crazy. It should not be that crazy over some shoes, you feel me? I live on this street. I, I walk up and down here all the time. Come back and the guy, over a raffle tickets? Like, what are raffle tickets? Right. You know, like they're nothing. They're not even shoes. They're meaningless. So. I think it was more of a pride thing. People want to be more prideful, you know, egos bumping around, there's nobody else. I don't know, it's a very sad thing to happen. Brooklyn Projects has been a fixture on Melrose for decades now, and their owner Dom gave us his insight on how Melrose can become a safer place. This week has been already somber, considering what happened earlier this week on Melrose. Uh, walk me through just your initial feelings when you heard the news of this shooting that happened outside of Shoe Palace. Um, Honestly, uh, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I'm, I was like, what? And to have an employee on top of it, because I was worried about my employees. You know what I mean? Um, because today the culture is uh, back in our day. You don't like somebody. Okay, cool. Let's throw hands. And now it's like, okay, cool. I'm gonna come back and then shoot you up. And to lose a life for a pair of $150 shoes is just, I was tripping. I, I couldn't, I, because Melrose has been like crazy, but when it when it when it hits like our community and somebody gets killed, like a, a when if, if it's a customer, it's bad. But when it's an employee doing his job, he went the dude went to work. You know what I mean? Like you don't go to work thinking you're gonna die if you're a shoe salesman. So in in your opinion, what happened? What went left to cause the situation? Shit, everybody being greedy. You feel me? Everybody, especially people that really don't got it. You feel me? Niggas is over here being greedy, taking tickets and all types of shit. You feel me? Niggas, I don't know, bro. This shit's crazy. When do you think Melrose changed and kind of became a dangerous place? With any sort of like, if anything, if anybody tries to do good for the greater good, there's always going to be the few bottom feeders are going to try to take advantage and i think also it's because the scarcity of product and and the price of product a lot of kids can't afford it i mean i i don't know how kids can afford three four hundred dollar pair of shoes and i i so they're going to get it because they have to get that clout so that's it's, it's a perfect storm you know have you run into any circumstances where you face danger involving any type of raffles with your store in Melrose? Yes, uh, there, you know, last time I did a, was, I don't want to say a raffle, but a first come first serve thing was with the diamond release. Um, I, everybody that knows me, I've been doing this shoe thing for damn near 20 plus years. And that really brought out a, a side that I never, thought I would see. Somebody actually pulled out a gun and shot at my car oh, wow. the night of, because I had words with him and got into a little scuffle. <sighs> um, you know, that was like, you know, 400 people in line for a hundred pair of shoes and people really, they were so thirsty for it. And it's like, man, for shoes? When you, when you think about to those moments, I mean, anytime someone opens gunfire on you, that's a traumatic feeling. 
um, as a business owner, as a lover of sneakers, have you been able to cope with that? Is there, are those issues that still come back your way that haunt you? What do you? What do you does it make your feelings of the game jaded? Well, at one hundred percent, it. it it sucks that I have people calling me like on Citizen app. Something's always happening on Melrose. My phone rings all the time. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? And it's like, I have like people not wanting to come to Melrose anymore. They'll order online and they live like a mile away because they don't want to deal with it. You know? Has it made you hesitant on keeping your shop here on Melrose? Yeah, uh, it's funny you should say that. So um, my lease was up. I've been on Melrose on this location for uh, 11 years in this location. My lease was up in August of last year. I was going back and forth, back and forth. Because do I want to like deal with this shit? Is it, it's going to get worse, I'm thinking, before it gets better. Do I want to deal with this? What do you think needs to change in the sneaker releasing process to make things safer? Oh, the sneaker releasing process is completely horrible. It's getting people that that's just a whole different animal. You have people literally like groups of people now coming together and like that's just I avoid that completely. Like even though I got these tickets, it's because I came in really early in the morning to get them. I, I avoid the whole sneaker industry. Like that's the saddest part about Melrose, actually. It's such a vibing place. You could get the nicest haircuts, nicest people, blending group. You got a Chabad right there, which is a Jewish synagogue. You got the best you like you, everyone's blending in over here you know nobody's bothering each other bait on melrose has been here for a staple you got i don't know i it's just it's heartbreaking because you could see that it's only going to get worse because it's only getting harder to win sneakers and people really want those sneakers because they make money off of it and people want to sell out so they're going to be put they have to i don't know you, you drive up and down melrose you see certain sneaker shops they got armed guards you know for sneakers. I've seen armed guards for a high-end jewelry store in Manhattan or maybe even Tiffany's in the mall, but shoes? So I, I, I signed my lease, and but I was hesitant. I didn't sign a long lease because I'm afraid, you know? And I'm not afraid of like so much. I'm afraid of for my life and I'm afraid for my, my customers and I'm afraid for my employees. Also, I'm also afraid of what I'm gonna do to somebody else. Like there, there's, there's consequences all over and it's like, I don't wanna have to think about that. I don't wanna come here, fucking sell skateboards, sell shoes, give some pounds and have a good day, and, you know? What do you think has to change for these raffles and for these lines to be safer? They need to have personal security outside. This is Shoe Palace, you feel me? They need to have personal security by their side 24 seven. should be no reason why people should be dying like this over some raffle. I mean, that's just fucked up. But there's gotta be a way to do it. Everybody's gotta be civil. You didn't get your shoe? Maybe next time. And that's the, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's, everybody is their own person. It's, they have to, everybody has to take accountability for themselves and their own actions. They can't be mad at the shop because they didn't get their shoe. They can't be mad at this dude because he got it and you didn't. They, 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 it's like, dude, move on.